In this video, we're going to see how to write a simple website test in the Selenium IDE. As discussed in my previous video, Selenium IDE is a browser-based test tool for web applications. Using Selenium, you can record a set of actions taken inside the browser, such as typing and clicking. These recorded actions can then be played back in the browser with added actions and tests in the form of asserts, verifies, and other programming logic. For example, we can load the home page for our website and assert that a specific string of text shows up on the page. If the assert fails, then the test fails and the script stops. If we don't want the script to stop, we can switch to a verify, which is a type of soft assertion that notes the error and allows the script to continue. Let's look at a few examples. Here, I've accessed my personal web page, Thaxton.me. Let's assume I've added a search feature, which I'd like to test with Selenium IDE. I begin by selecting the Selenium IDE extension, which I installed earlier. This extension allows us to either open an existing test or record a new one. We're going to record a new one. I'm going to give the test a name. I'm going to give it the base URL that this test is run against. And I'm going to start recording the test. We're presented with a new browser window that shows us the web page and it shows us in the bottom right that Selenium IDE is now recording. We'll begin by entering a search term and then clicking the search button. We see the search results. We choose the first search result and click on its link and it takes us to a search result page. At this point, we can go back to the Selenium IDE and stop the recording. It asks us for a test name. Once we save the test, you'll see it shows up on the left-hand side of the page. In the middle is where we edit the individual actions that occur during the test. Let's assume that we would like to look for a specific text string on the page after performing the search. If I go back to the search results, I see the string search results for Taylor. If I then go back to the IDE, I can add an assertion that will look for that particular string of text. I want that assertion to occur before clicking the link to the actual article, which would be between steps five and six. So I right click on six, insert a new command, click on that new command, and here in the bottom is where we would actually configure the details for that command. In this case, we want to assert that a string of text is found on the page. So I scroll down to assert text. We then ask what target to look for for the text. This button allows us to go back to the web page and click on the element that we would like to look in. In this case, it looks for a CSS selector with a class of page title. The value is what we're looking for in that particular element. So here I'm searching for search results for Taylor. Now we have a series of actions that will occur when, when we run the script. When it reaches step six, it will assert that this text is on the page before moving on to step seven. Let's go ahead and try this out and see how it works. We can click the play button up here at the top and it will run this series of steps. You'll notice when it's complete that all the steps ran and that they're colored coded green. If we wanted to simulate an error 
we could go back to row number six in our script and deliberately misspell Taylor. And you'll see when we run it again, it reaches row six, does not find the text we specified, and the script ends without row seven being executed. If we were interested in the script continuing to run, we could go back to row six and change this from an assert to a verify. We can't change it here in the dropdown list, so what we end up having to do is delete this command, insert a new command, and from there, choose the verify. Choose our target again. And then choose the value we're looking for. And if we go ahead and leave this as a misspelled tailor and run it, you'll notice it runs, does not find the text, but it continues the test. If we wanted to add new assertions, we could just click those in the bottom blank row. For example, if we wanted to verify text on this page, we could select a particular element and then tell it to look for that particular value inside the element. Now when we run the test, you'll see it found that particular text. In these examples, I've shown you how a simple check for text on a web page can be performed either through an assert or verify. This is probably the most basic test you can run on a website to check if the page you expected actually loaded and contains the elements and text that you expected. As you can see, the IDE provides many types of assertions and verifications. It also contains various commands, such as a programming language, like if, wait, or loops. If you're interested in additional automation, you can check out the Selenium IDE documentation, which has examples for adding logic, capturing data, and managing window sizing.